All right, it's the Jersey Jaguar, and today I'm going to teach you how to customize a Nike NFL football jersey, specifically a Vapor Elite. Now, guys, you can use this technique on different tiers, different brands, different players, and even different sports. This is my preferred method of customizing jerseys and my most used method now guys you could also go different routes like finding private customizers on facebook instagram and other social media sites as well as going through a team's direct supplier which is probably going to be the best route however it's also going to be the most time consuming finding them and also most pricey hence i'm doing this video let's get to it All right, so the first and most important step is going to be choosing who and what you want on your jersey. There's different ways of going about this. You don't have to just get your favorite player. You could get your own name on the back. You could get your company's name on the back. Maybe you could get the championship year and season that your team won. There's a lot of different routes, but you first have to choose what you want on your jersey. So some of the things to consider is first and foremost, are there any specialty seasons? Hence a patch that commemorates a championship win. Or maybe there's an inaugural season patch. Maybe there's a memorial armband. Maybe you want to do somebody's rookie jersey. Maybe you want to do somebody's final season jersey. So guys, take all this into consideration when you choose who and what you want. So for this video, and for me personally, I chose that I wanted a TJ Watt rookie season jersey, specifically the Nike Color Rush. And as you see here in the photo, the Steelers Color Rush looks awesome, and they still wear it to today in 2022. All right, so two of the biggest factors that made me want to choose a T.G. Watt specifically is he just won Defensive Player of the Year. I like him as a player. His brother was an awesome player. Also, guys, in 2017, the Steelers wore a Dan Rooney memorial patch for his passing. Also, it was T.J. Watt's rookie season, so it was two birds with one stone. Hence, I wanted to get this jersey done. All right, and the final part about choosing who and what you want is the research. So guys, you might want a certain player on a certain team in a certain season, but you might not be able to find that jersey due to rareness to use as a donor jersey to make it. Also guys, keep in mind too that when you go through the customization process, if you want to be as accurate as possible, certain teams use certain fonts, different sizes for different seasons, different colors, etc. So finding pictures and resources to be able to get the information to make that jersey might be hard. That happened to me before and I had to choose another player or another season for that specific reason. So research is going to be a big part of it. You can use Google Images, Getty Images. A lot of times uh, cities newspaper sites have a lot of good images in their sports section. You could also use references from different social media groups. A lot of the guys are really helpful and like to help others. Alright, so now that we got the who, what out of the way, I did my research. I found the patch that I wanted to use and I found the player I wanted to use. Now you have to locate a jersey, all right? This might be tricky or it could be really simple. Sometimes if you go on Fanatics and NFL shop, they're going to already have those jerseys available for customization, all right? In my situation, finding this jersey is very hard. It's a very sought after jersey. So what I did is I found this James Conner jersey for a good price and I'm going to strip it to use it to turn it to this TJ Watt. All right, and guys, if you're wondering on how to strip a jersey, I'm going to do a little demonstration right now. And then I'm going to put a link in the description as well on how to customize the jersey fully. You're going to hear me say that again in a little bit. All right, so it's time for the stripping process. And again, guys, I'm only going to go over this extremely quickly. I'll post a link in the descriptions on a full tutorial on how to strip jerseys and remove the ghosting under it. If you, if you need to remove the ghosting, all right, you probably will. So we're going to put a piece of cardboard, it's under here, uh, between this layer of the jersey and the front of the jersey, just in case if I mess up, I don't cut both, uh, both sides of the jersey. All right, you always want to have that added layer of protection and care. So guys, I'm going to do, you can use a seam ripper. I like using an X-Acto knife. All you're going to do is cut the top layer of threads. That's it. Don't cut through the letter, or in this case, the number. On the sides, go over a couple times here on the corners because there's always extra um, threads on the corners and on the edges. All right. Uh, guys, another thing I want to mention too is 
you you could strip the name if there's already a name played on the jersey you could strip the name off by itself okay and then just have it sewn directly into the nameplate through the jersey but on this side you're gonna see the stitching through it if you want the most professional aspect to the to, to the customization you're gonna to want to remove this nameplate all right so now that we got this jersey stripped this is what we're looking at a nice clean slate to do what we want with it all right guys so we're gonna go over to the customization process now all right so the jersey is stripped and now we're going to go into the actual customization process so guys i use customized sports for the vast majority of my customization kits now they're out in canada they ship extremely quick for hockey they got most of the dimensions and sizes on file for other sports they got some of them too if they don't just shoot them a message with pictures and the sizes that you want and they'll get it done all right guys so once we get the fonts out of the way it's time to select the proper color and we're going to need a swatch to do that we're going to look at what a swatch is now all right so this right here is called a swatch almost every or most companies that you get your kits from or your tool from will have a swatch it's a, it's a bunch of little samples for you to choose which is the best color that you need all right so in this situation all i'm going to do is i'm going to hold it like this and match up which is the closest one which is going to be like gold look at that pretty much an exact match um standard gold is close right there but you can see it has a little bit too much red in there and if you go a shade lighter maize doesn't have enough red in it making it too yellow so guys really important tool to have if you plan on customizing a lot of jerseys it's going to save you in the long run if you try to do it based off your eye on the screen from looking at photos keep in mind that every screen is different and every camera is different so you're not going to get that accurate of a color every time you might get close to it but it won't be accurate every time and guys this is the kit that came in from the sleeve and you can see i'm trying to get it so the so the lining matches up it's an exact match all right all right so as you guys can see right here we have the blank jersey now we have the kit we have the patch everything's good to go now all we got to do is get the kit and the patch put onto the jersey let's get into that step right now all right so we need to get the jersey sewn together guys i use city sport lettering it's in the suburbs of chicago about 40 45 minutes outside of the city all right guys they do an excellent job if you don't want to send your jerseys to them use a shop specifically that does jerseys as your worst case find a tailor that knows how to do a zigzag stitch this is a zigzag stitch right here all right it's the most common type of used stitch for the jersey it's the strongest to use all right so before you get your jersey stitched together two things number one always wash your jersey beforehand if it's new even and you see there's a lot of dust on it wash it if there's a little dirt wash it if it's used wash it for sure guys that dust oils dirt and stains etc once you heat press them that heat's going to pull it out and make it even more visible make sure you give the customizer a clean jersey number two for football and for hockey and sometimes baseball and very rarely in basketball you're going to need a nameplate in football they use nameplates period across the board so in this situation i was able to strip the name off of the nameplate and then I stripped the nameplate off the jersey just to give it a more authentic look. And I cut the nameplate down to size to fit for TJ Watt. All right, guys. So again, if you cannot find the nameplate or if you messed it up, you're going to have to buy nameplate material. Usually the best case to do is just find a donor jersey for cheap and use that. If not, ask around. Sometimes people have uh, extra material laying around that they'll be willing to sell you. All right, so now that we got the jersey back from the customizer, it looks great guys so here's a before image of the james connor here's that blank image again now here's the final image both front and back so guys as you can see it turned out well what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna give you guys some close-ups of the exact details so you can see exactly what i'm looking at
And there you go. It took a few steps, but guess what? That extra time and effort was worth it because now I've been wanting a TJ Watt jersey, specifically his rookie season on a color rush for a long time. And instead of paying 400 bucks from, from the team shop, I was able to get it done myself with a little bit of help from my friends. It looks great. Guys, if you have any questions on anything in this video at all, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be happy to answer the questions. Also, if there's something you'd like to see in the future in terms of video, let me know in the comments. I'll get that done and I'll see you at the next one.